At the dawn of the edge of the wheel, Exeria and Minus came across a strange shore that they called Prisma, a name given due to its beautiful colors and glow. When they brought Prisma before the leaders of the Exerian Council, they were rewarded, as the leaders were very impressed by its beauty. They handed it over to the alchemists of Exeria to study, but word was already out that this new ore would be the means to produce the finest jewels for the aristocracy of Exeria, and the Kidom's economy would soon thrive. However, before the alchemists had concluded their study, Orders were issued for the mining of Prisma throughout Exeria. Reports came in weekly from alchemists and scientists regarding Prisma, and some of them were worried for some of its properties. Prisma had a very high capacity for water, which was the main secret behind its impressive colors, its radiance, and its legendary beauty. But once the water was absorbed, the ore turned to a dark stone that generated smoke and even exploded when carved into smaller pieces. More reports came in, stressing these troublesome reviews, but the Exerian leaders would not have it. They had already become obsessed with the idea of profit from this God-given find. Alchemists were sent away or even executed for expressing doubt or worry regarding Prisma. New scientists were brought in, people closer to the Council that they were easier to manipulate. However, the results were the same. Cutting the stone into pieces would sometimes cause it to explode when sudden pressure was applied. Accidents in labs were kept secret, but rumors had already begun to spread, dividing the scientific community. One day, during a terrible storm, a carriage returning from the mines was thunderstruck. The energy generated from the lightning bolt absorbed the water from the stones instantly and resulted in a huge explosion that killed tens of miners. Similar events took place throughout Exeria in one of the most terrible storms ever witnessed. Rumors started to spread about a curse from the gods and the Exerian leaders could no longer ignore the terrible sight of the Prisma War. New orders were issued to dispose of the ore as it was deemed cursed and useless, but a team of scientists came forward to oppose this view. It convinced the leaders of the council that Prisma could become even more valuable than they thought it was prior to the storm. With proper processing and careful study, new weapons could be manufactured that could change the world forever. And so, scientists started to experiment on new weapons weapons that caused controlled detonations when pressure was applied upon them. When the process was perfected, the Exerian people became the first people to bear guns made of new, powerful ore that could stand against anything, even magic. An ore later known as Grimstone.